Welcome back everyone! Today we are doing something we don't usually do. We are looking at cleaning and things to clean. And we are actually doing this because in Denmark Covid has returned once again, 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 again. It comes and goes and comes and goes. So it's always good to keep your space clean, not only uh, because of Covid, but also because a clean space just makes you feel better. It kind of clears the head, at least for me, and it gives you the optimal chance of not getting sick because you don't have any harmful bacteria in your home. So today we are looking at a lot of things that you can clean. Uh, I have a very short list of things you should clean uh, often just to make sure that's like COVID related. Um, and then I have like the big cleaning list, things that are really good to keep clean uh, and just overall uh, clean uh, in your life, in your house. Uh, some of them are also outside your house, but there are a lot of things. You don't have to do them all like every week, of course. Uh, first off, as I said, there are the things that you need to keep clean often because of COVID and then there are the things that are just nice to have clean. So first off, the things you should clean often, I will put them up here um, while I read them up for you, but the things that you should uh, aspire to keep clean are uh, like doorknobs and handles that's also on the fridge, all handles that you touch daily. Lights, switches and uh, power outlets are also a really good idea again because you touch them very often, almost daily. Then there are table and chairs that you sit on or at. Sinks and faucets, again you use them a lot. Countertops are again used a lot, so those we also keep clean. Keys and phones are something we don't always think about, but we do use them every day and a lot. There are I think they say that there are more bacteria on your phone than on your toilet seat. So that's kind of wild, so you should also clean that just once in a while. And then yourself, of course, and each other. You should remember to wash your hands and use sanitizer in these times, especially if you're out and seeing people. Of course, often these are already in shops like hand sanitizers, so just remember to use them. Um, but those are the things that we like to clean, uh, keep clean at home, but it's also something that you could aspire to keep clean, for example, at work, where there are maybe a lot of people, um, but nonetheless you see someone else than those you live with. For us, we are two people living in a small apartment, so we can't really, we, we kind of have to share bacteria, we kind of just end up like that. So for us, it doesn't matter as much that everything is clean because we know if one person will get sick the other one will too uh, but as i said before we also like to keep it clean because it kind of gives a clear head um, i get very stressed if there's just clutter everywhere so we do like to have a clean home because it gives more energy for the other things that you should keep clean just to make sure you have a nice and healthy home there are a lot of things on the, the list, so I'll just put like something up here or up here. I'm not sure which way it is, so that you can read what we're at, which number we're on. Uh, but there are a lot, and the first one is your electronics. You should remember to clean your electronics once in a while. I said before that because of COVID, we, we like to clean our phones. You should do that, but also remember your... Uh, PC, computer, um, the keyboard on them, or like TV remotes, your television. There are a lot of like electronics that we don't think about that we actually use a lot. Uh, something like it's not necessarily as electronic, but headphones. It's also a really good idea to keep your headphones clean because they get nasty real quick. You can usually just clean them like with a um, not a cotton bud, what are they called? A cotton swab. Uh, and that's actually quite easy to just do. Clean the bathroom. This is kind of a no-brainer because most people already clean their bathroom at least once in a while because it gets nasty in there. 
but you should especially remember the sinks and the faucets because again those are the ones that you use the most I guess of course also the toilet um, because those are the ones you use the most so of course a lot of bacteria goes on there but while you are in the bathroom just uh, kind of stop up we have to do this in our apartment at least because it's very old and we stop and we look for mold like in the bath area just to make sure no mold is growing and also remember to look at the drain like empty it for hair if you have hair I have quite long hair so we do have to empty the drain once in a while just to make sure it doesn't clog and also remember the mirror the kitchen is a thing that can be cleaned into infinity I think because there are so many things in the kitchen that we don't really remember we kind of have to clean when we do it we usually clean everything so the sink and the faucet again we also clean out the uh, the refrigerator the fridge uh, so we take all the food out then we clean the shelves and of course sort in the food and put what um, put all the good things in again and then the expired stuff has to go far away and then we also clean of course the handle remember all handles especially in COVID and especially because people usually forget to clean them so a lot of bacteria goes on there the same again with the power outlets you also have to clean those in the kitchen in all of your apartment all of your house all of your home then we have the oven it's also an important one to remember or other uh, things you have like we have a um, I don't even know what it's called Elkil um, I will put it up here just so you can see what I'm talking about I don't I don't remember what it's called right now uh, but we usually also clean that or like the toaster you could also clean that we dry or wipe down every surface both uh, like horizontal, vertical, all the countertops, all the cabinets, all the handles on everything. Again, <laughs> um, just to make sure that there's nothing left because a lot of splatter often goes uh, on the cabinets without actually noticing. And on the same note as splattering, we also take, take the walls sometimes, like um, where we actually cook or cut our food. Sometimes there's some splash on the wall, so it might also be a good idea to remember to clean that part. Another thing to look for when you are cleaning especially the bathroom is that you should remember to change your toothbrush. A lot of bacteria goes on this because uh, clearly you have it in your mouth so of course a lot of bacteria goes on it. I usually change mine every three months or so that's like the mark where it usually gets too disgusting but overall if the bristles are like going outwards in all directions then it's time to change it you should remember to wash your bedding so we usually wash our bedding like once a month but our pillowcases we do more often sometimes we even take our pillowcases like every time we wash because a lot of bacteria goes on this too and they breed so well on your pillowcase because your face is on it every single night. If you use makeup or anything else on your face you should also remember that that actually also goes on your pillowcase of course if you don't take it off. If you do wash and clean your face it doesn't go on your pillowcase but if you have a lot of a cream, a mask, a um, a lot of makeup you haven't taken it off it will go on your pillowcase and the bacteria will breed and have a nice time and um, they will come back and haunt you and your face uh, it can actually cause breakouts on the face and irritated skin if you don't wash it at all um, because of the bacteria so we usually wash the pillowcases more often than the rest of the bedding but we do remember to wash it all at least once a month on the note of washing stuff you should also wash your clothes or do your laundry overall and that is well clearly because you need clean clothes to put on so you have to do it at some point anyway so you might as well do it um, now can you do it now you can just pause this video and go do your uh, wash your clothes now if you want to but we usually do ours every second week 
that's about the time that it kind of fits that we are only two people so that's when our laundry baskets are full and we do sort our laundry so we have three baskets that we sort in so that it is easy for us to just take it out and put it in the washing machine immediately so we don't really have to do anything other than just put it in the basket when we're done with it and then go down and wash it. That makes it a lot easier for us. You should also remember to wash everything that you use daily. Um, so like towels or handkerchiefs, uh, I don't know what you use, whatever you, you use uh, daily or touch with your hands, uh, you should remember to do that. We also have a rule that if something is wet or damp in our laundry basket, we have to clean it more often or wash it quicker because like damp or wet clothes can actually start to get moldy and that's not something you want in any of your clothes. Vacuum. This is one thing that perhaps everyone knows how to do, uh, that everyone has tried to do and it is quite easy. We don't just take like the whole house or the whole apartment, we, but we also do look at ceilings, if there's any like webs or spiders up there and under the furniture, so for example under the sofa uh, or the pillows on the sofa, uh, just to make sure there's nothing under there that has to be vacuumed. You should also remember to clean your water bottle. So we have a handy water bottle that can have both warm and cold stuff in it. So we can just like put soap and warm water in ours and shake it and rinse it. Uh, but perhaps you can do it so you might want a like, uh, you can get a, not a pipe cleaner, but it's very close like a bottle cleaner. Um, that's quite handy to reach in the bottle, but some Bottles can also go in the dishwasher if that's easier for you then you might want to get one of those bottles. But you do have to clean your water bottle because well clearly your mouth touches it every day and your mouth also touches a lot of other stuff every day. So you can only imagine how many like bacteria that goes in there and that has fun on your water bottle. So uh, as long as you just clean like the part where your mouth touches that's like the most important. But as I said, we usually shake ours with uh, some soap and then rinse it out and then ours are all good to go again. Do the dishes. So dirty dishes aren't really sexy, so it does make sense that you don't want to do them. But you kind of still has to. Like we have a dishwasher, so it's kind of easy for us. We just have to put it in and then run the dishwasher and then empty it again. But if you have to do it per hand power, uh, then I would recommend that you um, make it a fun thing. Like think about how the warm water is really nice or put on some music or YouTube video and do them in the meantime, then it makes kind of the chore seem funner and less boring and it will go much faster, I promise. Take out the trash. So taking out the trash is something that hopefully everyone does already. But in our house we don't just have the like normal trash, we also have a special type of trash. So we have everything that's like dangerous, uh, that has to go in a recycling, I don't know what they're called, like a recycling space, designated space for that. I really don't know the name right now, I will put it up if I remember to find it. Um, but that's kind of where it has to go. We also have like special uh, bins for uh, plastic or paper or glass, uh, stuff like that, that we have to take like 500 meters from here or something, it's very close, uh, where we could put it. So we usually go out with all of our trash, both the normal and the uh, other stuff that we kind of sort and then um, put it to uh, in the reus reusable bins, I guess that's what they are, um, so that it can get reused. And it's kind of a win-win for us because we have to walk over there, so we do get some exercise, but we also get rid of something that clutters, and that's always really nice. Remember to, remember to mop the floor. So 
there are just some things that the vacuum cleaner cannot take. So if you have something that just looks disgusting on the floor, I would recommend trying to mop it or wash it away. For us, the most important place to do it is the kitchen because we spend a lot of time making food in there. So a lot of stuff also goes on the floor. But if you have kids, for example, it could be around the dining table that it is the most important to do it. Nonetheless, you have to clean it at some point. It's at least a very good idea to do some, especially if you spilled something. So I would recommend just getting it over with. Washing your pillows and duvets are something that I don't think a lot of people do, but they are actually usually meant to be washed. There are cleaning instructions on the label, at least in all of our duvets and uh, all of our pillows, so that you know how to clean them properly. And I would re recommend not doing this too often because it is harsh, like on the uh, um, on the pillows, on the, uh, the duvets. But you still have to do it once in a while because a lot of bacteria goes in there, you sleep in them. Um, like every night or sleep with them every night and sweat in them so they do have to be cleaned once in a while and I would recommend doing it in the summer uh, if you have space for hanging them out so they will dry easier because it does take quite a while for like a big duvet to dry. Something else when we're on the topic of beds is that you should clean your bed. I don't think a lot of people think about this. Of course, they wash the sheets, but sometimes it might also be a good idea to kind of vacuum the mattress if you have anything on it. Like a lot of my hair goes onto our mattress, so we have to vacuum that away. Um, but we also have a mattress that can be turned around. So we have like a free uh, mattress, I guess it's maybe what it's called, that we can kind of open up for and then turn around so that it lives longer so it's just a normal like sponge mattress and for each time you turn it it kind of lives longer because you don't put pressure the same places every day so our bed will stay happy for longer we can keep it for longer before we have to buy a new one so just turning the mattress uh, can actually really do a, a big deal and of course washing the bed sheets uh, or vacuuming it if that's what you need. Remember to water your house plants. If you don't, I promise you they will die. I am not so good at remembering this but it is quite easy to put up a timer on your phone to remind you once a week, twice a week that you need to look at your plants and see if they are doing fine of course, not all plants need the exact same amount of water, but in general, like if you put your finger in there and it's dry, like all the way to, if, if you don't feel anything that's like moist, I will water them. Um, but if I like put my finger just a bit in it and I feel like something is still feeling a bit moist, then I don't give them any more water just because I usually water them too much, perhaps, when I finally get to doing it because I feel like I forgot for so long that of course they can just drink all the water now. So just try to put a finger in the, uh, in the ground of your plant and then perhaps it will be easier. Cleaning your toys is also something that you have to do. It doesn't matter if it's yours, if it's your kids, your pets, you kind of have to clean them nonetheless, especially if you use them often. Cleaning the windows is not something that we have to do very often, but it's something that is a good idea to do and a nice, nice to do um, if you can actually look out your windows. Usually you can see if they need to be cleaned, like if there's a thin layer of dust or if you can see clear marks on them because someone put their face or a hand or something on it, then you know you have to clean it. Um, so that's kind of the go-to, like if I don't see anything on them. I don't usually clean them, only if there's like some marks or a lot of dust. Cleaning the walls are also another thing that I don't think a lot of people do too often. As I said before, we do clean our walls in the kitchen where we like splash food because it gets kind of disgusting if we don't. But another place that it can be a really good idea to wash the walls are around the toilet, so like in the bathroom. Um, and perhaps also other walls. <laughs> Maybe if you haven't cleaned your walls in a long time, just take a look at them. 
you of course don't have to wash down every wall but the ones where there are something to be cleaned just try to wash it down with a uh, a sponge perhaps if you ha can take it off like that or just wipe it down that might be almost easier nonetheless we have like the two most important places to do it for us are the kitchen and the bathroom so that's like the only places we really do it unless we know we spilled something on the wall bags should be clean too especially if they are used daily so things like school bags or workout bags especially like workout bags because you put sweaty socks and whatever in them so you do have to clean them once in a while too usually they can just go in the not in the dishwasher i don't think that's a good idea but you can probably put them in the washing machine some bags there are labels on on how to clean them um but like the standard bag just made out of any fabric uh, can usually go in the uh, washing machine taking care of your dishwasher your washing machine and your dryer is also something that requires a bit of time a bit of uh, money also but it's a really good idea to do because it makes sure that your machinery lasts longer and does its job better so if you fill uh, the machines with whatever they need for our dishwasher for example we need salt and detergent um, so we usually refill that and always have some like on stock so we can refill if we figure out we need it or we have to do it but you can also get like cleaner especially made for those uh, things so for example in Denmark you can get a small bottle I will just put a picture up here uh, like a small blue bottle that you can use in your dishwasher to kind of wash everything through and make sure it's clean and ready to uh, wash dishes again. Cleaning your car, or in this case uh, cleaning my car, is something I have a tough time remembering because I feel like it's really a chore. Nonetheless, it is important to do, especially if you use the car often or if you eat or drink a lot in it, so it would be a good idea to vacuum the seats and the floor, just wipe everything down inside, so like the dashboard and your steering wheel, and also clean the handles. You don't really have to, uh, in the same capacity, wash the outside, but everything that you touch um, and the floor and seats are a really good idea to, to make sure are clean. Those are some of the things that I found most important to clean especially with the pandemic still ongoing um, but if there's anything you think I forgot you can just go tell me in the comments down below um, I think I got almost everything I'm sure I forgot something um, but nonetheless you can just like tell me in the comments down below if I forgot something it would be nice for me to also know so I can remember to clean it myself next time I have to clean but that's all for today i hope you all stay happy stay safe at home and if you like this video you can choose to like it uh, or you can subscribe to my channel if you want to stay for future videos or ring the bell if you want to get notified whenever i upload something you can also choose to watch this read this as a post if you would want to do that too I could have said that at the start so you could have done that if you would rather do that but nonetheless if you also want to read it you can go to the uh, description below to find a link to the post too and I just hope you all have a happy life one day at a time.